One of the fun things about Photoshop is the ability to manipulate colors in different ways. You can also do this with hair. I'll show you how to do it. So when it comes to changing hair colors, you want to try and do it in a natural way, meaning you want to keep to the consistency and the texture of the hair while making changes to the color. Uh, normally, when, it, when doing things like this, the colors are not usually that subtle, but you can get pretty extreme with it without making it look unnatural. So I have a picture of Charlize Theron here looking beautiful as usual. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the hair and I'm going to change the color and I'm going to show you how to do this quickly and easily. So first we want to turn on quick mask mode and then we want to grab our brush tool and make sure that our foreground color is black. And when you start to brush, you'll notice this little piece of red. That's completely normal. And all you want to do is brush around the edges so you can be really precise. And then once the edges are brushed around, you make the brush larger and fill in the rest of her hair. So bear with me while I do this. Okay, so now that we have our hair almost completely brushed in, we don't want to get too detailed about it, but this is close enough. We're going to go ahead and turn off quick mask mode, and you can see we have a selection. But what you actually have is everything around her hair. So we want to go to select, inverse, and now her hair is selected. Now, in order to actually make the changes, we're going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. We're going to change the mode right here to soft light and we'll call it hair color. And now we can change the hair color to whatever we like. So we can try an interesting red. We can do something blue. And remember, you want to keep it a certain level of subtlety because it's not going to be realistic if you get over the top with it like that. It's obvious that there's color going on over it, but if you drop it a little bit, then it works. Now the other thing you can do, just to help out, is grab the brush tool, click on the mask, and just get more detailed. Make sure that your brush is black, and just paint away some parts of it, because obviously it's going over some parts of her skin. And we don't want that. And it just helps with the realism. Okay, so you get the general idea. Now you can always double click on that color right here in the layer and you can go back and change the color to anything you want and make it as interesting as you like. So that's after, that's before, after, before. You get the idea. Okay, so those are the basics on how to change someone's hair color. Um, if you have any questions or comments regarding touch-ups and enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requestitmahalo.com, and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.